We love hash browns in our house. It is my husband's favorite. So Gordon Ramsay's eggs baked with hash browns recipe became a weekend tradition we started a few months ago. This recipe is easy, comes together really fast, and of course is top chef delicious. Let's make some baked eggs with hash browns from Gordon Ramsay with a personal twist. Potatoes and eggs are the main ingredients in this dish. If you're in a hurry, you can certainly use the store-bought hash browns. I cheated like this many times and it's a time saver. However, today I'm going to show you how to make the authentic hash browns from scratch. And it will seriously take you only 5 to 7 minutes extra. Peel 5 to 6 medium sized potatoes, grate them and place them into a bowl. For safety and easy grating, I always use these kitchen gloves. I never hurt my fingers and use the sharp tools with more confidence. I will link them for you in the description box below. Now very important part, you have to squeeze all the liquid out of these grated potatoes. If you don't, your hash browns will turn sticky and it will not crisp up. You can use a colander or I'm using this multi-purpose cheesecloth. I will link it for you in the description box below. You'll be surprised to see how much liquid comes out. Now slice half a medium onion and transfer it to a blender or a food processor. Once blended, squeeze the juice out of the onion and transfer it to your hash browns. You can certainly grate your onion together with your potatoes, but oh my god, the tears are so bad. <laughs> Once you're done, season with salt and pepper to taste, roughly two tablespoons of olive oil, cayenne pepper, and half a cup of Parmesan cheese, my small personal twist. Mix it all to combine. Take a nice large pan that can be used in the oven. Now this is not sponsored, but I highly recommend this Ninja Pan. It's one of the best things I've owned in the kitchen. You don't need a cast iron heavy pan if you have this one. It's light, non-stick, you can cook and bake anything in it. I've had it for years and it still looks like new. I will link it for you in the description box below. Now get your pan nice and hot and drizzle some olive oil. Transfer your grated potatoes into the pan and pat it down, making it nice and compact. Keep your heat on medium. Next, add some slices of softened butter all around your pan and cook for about 5 minutes. Now to the fun part. We have to cook our hash brown big patty on the other side. Do we flip it in the air like a pro chef? Well, you can try, but you may end up with hash browns all over your stove. So let's take the safe route this time. Take a large plate, place it on top of the pan, and flip it over. Then slide it back into the pan. Just like that. Easy peasy. Now take a spoon and make four wells. Crack four eggs and place them in here. Transfer your pan immediately into a 375 degrees Fahrenheit preheated oven for anywhere between 8 to 15 minutes. Now the timing completely depends on you. If you like poached eggs like me, 8 minutes is enough. If you like your eggs well done, like my husband, then you'll need to bake them for a good 15 minutes. Let me know in the comments, are you part of wife team or are you part of husband team? <laughs> Meanwhile, let's cook some classic American bacon. Heat the pan and add some olive oil and a tablespoon of brown sugar. Next, add salt and pepper to taste and of course, butter. 
Place the bacon into the pan and cook until nicely colored. Once the bacon is caramelized in the brown sugar, it will turn this beautiful brown color. Your baked eggs with crispy hash browns are done. Look at this, baked to perfection. Assemble by putting the bacon on top of your hash browns and your breakfast or brunch is ready. We can seriously eat this any time of the day. It is so satisfying. Now this is how delicious American breakfast is done. Enjoy, and I'll see you next week.